Hello and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name's Nick, and today we're looking at the cat that got the milk. A uh, very interesting, abstract, expressionist-styled action game featuring a cat. Uh, simple as that, as far as I know. I'm not sure how far to read into this one, but I haven't played it. It's about 15 minutes long. We're going to take a quick run through it. I think I'm going to be pretty impressed by the art style, because the screenshots I've seen, everything looked awesome. Um, and I already like the title screen, just from the little bit I've seen here. Also, the kitty meows and purrs, which is nice. Uh, if you didn't know, of course, you know, I do things on the internet, so that makes me an automatic cat fan. Uh, but, you know, coincidentally, I actually happened to be a cat fan before the internet happened. Uh, but I will definitely give Maru some credit for uh, helping drive me over the top on that. <laughs> Um, so the story says, ever wondered where cats go at night? Welcome to the cat that got the milk. It should serve you 15 minutes of quality time, no more, no less. It's an action game. Uh, it's a night out on the town from a cat's abstract perspective. Controls are simply up and down. There are 18 levels to complete. Sounds good to me, and we got our credits up in the corner there. I'm a little sad their JPEG, I guess, with this information got, like, really dithered or something, because it really doesn't look very good. Um... But, you know, whatever. And there's the people responsible for this. Should definitely give them some props. So, let's head in. And give it a try. Alright, what do we have here? We've got a circle. Oh, here I come. I guess the cat is going to evolve from this interesting shape. Okay, what's going on here? Oh! Oh, okay. I thought I actually played as a cat. Do I not? No, I guess it's this. Alright, I can do this. So I'm actually just hitting up and down. This thing is moving left and right on its own. I mean, I guess you can be the cat. You're just, you know, tiny and stuff. Oh, I missed. So cool textures, cool colors, nice music so far. Um, again, I was really expecting to be a cat. I'm a little let down here. I played this game, The Cat and the Coo, a long time ago, which is uh, quite a weird game, actually, where you actually do play as a cat. And I actually don't do very well with, you know, geopolitical whatever the hells, and that, that was one of those. Uh-oh. That's not gonna work. Uh, so yeah, the whole game was about political stuff, and I didn't really know the references, so I actually felt totally lost by most of it. But it was a very cool, abstract, kind of stylized game, and uh, it was interesting. But it was very short, uh, so it never really was worth doing an episode on. I think it was actually so short that it probably would have been just kind of annoying. Uh, I think this one's probably at a nice sweet spot, though. 15 minutes long sounds about right. I mean, I've been doing longer videos, if you've noticed, for the last little while. I mean, the last few videos have been on the shorter side, I, I admit. But for the most part, I've been trying to keep the videos closer to a half an hour, if not 35 minutes at the longest. Uh, and hopefully that's been cool with you guys. Uh, I actually think it's... a lot of times it's worth doing a bit of a longer video. I, uh, I enjoy giving the games the, the time they deserve. Increase. Abstract number two. Oh, what's going on? Okay, I can still move. Oh, okay. I get it. I like where this is going. We've got lighting effects now, and the goal just got much, much smaller. I like this vaporizing line that's appearing behind me, this contrail. Because it's actually, it sort of slides away very slowly. It doesn't just dissipate. And even the previous contrail from your last attempt stays for a moment. Okay, this is definitely getting a little trickier now. So it's moving automatically right, and all I have to do is just guide it up and down, but it's like, it it means you have to have pretty quick, precise movements to get everything right. Oh, cool. I love this. The uh, introduction, like when the stages start up, uh, I think is really nice. When it, you know, shows something moving or changing, I think that's kind of exciting. Uh, makes the art a little bit more kinetic. And it is sort of interesting to navigate these organic shapes, most of them, with uh, a very binary 
digital movement scheme because you can only go up, down, straight, that's it. So you have to sort of make your own curves. So you create your own curves game. And the music has been very exciting and I definitely am into it. Uh, wait, what? How do I navigate this? Is there a way through this? What's going on here? Can I go up? Oh, okay, this one's gonna move away. Nice! Okay, this is very cool. This adds like a... What is it? Life Force? Kind of element, if you remember the uh, the old sort of uh, Gradius sequel. Some people call it Gradius, don't they? I always called it Gradius. Um, yeah, this is cool. The level actually sort of evolves as you move through it. And my uh, my art references right now, unfortunately, are lacking a bit. Oh, this is great! So it actually changes the whole path through. But uh, I am definitely seeing images in my head from my art history books and going like, okay, this is stuff I sort of, I feel like I resonate to this a little bit. I also just don't want to take a chance at naming names and then being wrong on the video, that's the, the real reason. Alright, so we've got an actual moving actively one, which is harder than it looks, actually. Man, if this is what cats do at night, I really underestimated what cats do. Okay, this could be tricky. Uh, I guess I gotta time this very well. Uh, or maybe not. Is it the moon? In the center? I think it may be. I thought it was like a fetus at first. Whoa, this is trippy. Oh man, it's like that, uh... I wanna be the guy level, uh, stage 3 in Meat Boy. Kind of. Oh, okay, they're done. Are they? No, I guess they give you a break at some point. Should keep navigating, moving forward... Oh, wow, okay, that messed me up. So the pattern changes, sort of, out of nowhere. I really like how uh, diverse the art elements have been so far. I mean, there have been a bunch of them, but every one of them pretty much has been cool looking. Okay, now we're getting into the real... The real stuff. This is like the Kandinsky era stuff now. Oh, wow, that is exciting. And the music is awesome, too. What can I not touch here? Probably everything. Okay, uh, I can't go left, so I guess I'm screwed. Um, very vibrant and exciting. There's so much, like, energy going on in this. I mean, these paintings themselves, when they're just sitting still on a canvas, like, they're pretty exciting as, as it stands, but adding actual movement to them is, like, a whole new way to look at this kind of thing. Um, a little unpredictable to move around through, but, you know, it's part of the fun, I guess. Oh, there's so many elements. I've never played a platformer or, you know, action game or anything that has this much going on at once. I have played Geometry Wars, so I guess that's a lie. Uh, but I've never had to deal with, like, this many animations going on in different ways. Ah. I feel like it's kind of getting a little lucky when I get through here. Oh, come on. These purple bars, man, they just keep getting in the way at the end. I find it interesting that we could actually take, like, 20 minutes and just talk about this composition by itself, and this is just one level. Ugh, I'm just doing terrible. So for you real art buffs out there... Ugh, oh, man. I'm not gonna skip the level game, but it's nice of you to offer. Uh, yeah, if you got really stuck, I imagine that would be very nice to uh, know you have that to lean on. You know me, though. I like to probably not skip stuff when I can. Alright, we made it. Oh, that was the end? The cat has his milk. That's nice. He'll sleep well for another day. Man, it's tough to get milk if you're a cat. I actually really wish there were more levels. That's... I'm sad now. I wanted to play this for another, you know, 20 minutes or something. Um, but yeah, very cool game. Uh, I definitely encourage you guys to go give this a download. It's totally free. Uh, obviously not the longest thing in the world, but, you know, these kind of cool artsy experiences, you can't have these anywhere else but in the indie world. I can't think of a single thing that feels anything like this. Um, the closest thing I could come to that has, like, such stylistic uh, craziness going on is, like, El Shaddai, which I am still dying to play if I can ever get a freaking PVR. But that's another story entirely. Um... 
but yeah, uh, beautiful game, interesting to play, uh, pretty addictive, not super, super hard, but it definitely gave me a little run for, for my money at the end there. Uh, I actually was kind of expecting that was going to be like the standard difficulty level going forward and we were going to go through a bunch more levels, but you know, I wasn't really thinking that hard considering it said how many levels it had at the beginning and I knew how many I went through. So, it is what it is. Cat got the milk, he's going to sleep. Uh, think about art history a little bit more and uh, how cool it is that people are actually appropriating these kind of uh, motifs into their games. I really appreciate that and I hope that more developers do stuff like this because I really love seeing it. Uh, just the, the way that art can come to life in a game. It's just something you can't see anywhere else. And it is really cool to blur that line a lot be between the, uh, like, the digital media world and the video game world, because they seem that they don't seem to be able to mesh very well. And that's kind of what I'm into with this whole uh, Indie Impression series. Like, I kind of want to see those things mesh a little bit more. And I want to see the people who look at art in the art world go, hey, wait a minute, there's an entire world of untapped potential going on that just happens to be interactive. And they could just form together and create Voltron or whatever they do, and it would be beautiful. So, uh, that would be your call to action, guys. Help me create Voltron and make Indie Impressions a success. Uh, whatever you guys can do, I, I, I think the channel's going really well. I could always use any, any help that you guys can give me, whether it's, you know, a mention on Reddit, tell a friend, uh, stop by on my Facebook page and say, hey, you know, whatever you guys are able to do, if you want to talk with me on the forums, continue this discussion about games and art, that's, that's what I'm totally passionate about, and that's what I hope you guys can uh, help bring to the conversation, you know, keep it going as far as possible, and I'm just going to keep finding these awesome games, and we're just going to keep doing it. That's what I like to do. I have a great time doing it. I hope you guys have a great time watching it, uh, but I will mention, again, my website, which is www.indie-impressions.com. I mentioned a few of the things you can do there already, but uh, mostly the forums are, are really where it's at right now. Uh, if you want to make an account, it's a two-step process. You know, enter a name and uh, get a password. Done, and you're in. Uh, and then you can join the community, meet some really cool people, and sort through my list of, what is it, close to 145, maybe? Yeah, something like that. 145-ish indie games and counting. Uh, every single day I do another one of these videos, and every single day it gets archived onto the site. And you can sort them by tags, you can sort them by distribution method, you know, if you want to look for games by Desser, if you want to look by games by uh, Steam, or games directly from indie developers so you can support them straight into their pockets, which is what they need. Uh, you can actually sort them by that as well, and I do encourage you to do so, uh, because these guys gotta eat as well. So, I will wrap us up for today. Thank you so much for watching The Cat That Got The Milk, and I hope you stop back again tomorrow for another awesome indie game. Alright, have a great night, guys. Talk to you later.